A Virginia school system has suspended circulation of two books from their library after a mother expressed concern about their explicit material. Both of these books include pedophilia. Please, there are children in the audience here. Do not like interrupt my under. time. No. Do not interrupt my time. I would like to remind everybody. I will stand here until my time is restored and my time is finished. But why were these books on the school shelves in the first place? That outrage, Fairfax, Virginia mom of six, Stacey Langton, joins us now. Stacey, you're a hero to me. Thank you for doing what you did. Um, how ironic that you read directly from the books that they provide in their library and they said it was offensive and that there were kids in the audience. Yeah, it's almost like she was making my point for me. Yeah, <laughs> you think? Yeah, absolutely. So is this the fault of the school board? How much responsibility does the librarian have in this? Well, that's what I don't know the answer to, okay? And I would like to get those answers. I don't know how this process works. I don't know who makes these decisions. So I would like to know that. Who puts the materials in our children's school libraries? Um, is it coming from some committee on high? Is it down to a person? Um, I don't think this is a situation where it's uh, the librarian per se, because one of the first things I did when I found out that the book was in my child's library was I checked a couple of the other schools that are geographically near me to see if it was in those libraries, and it and it is. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's it's not a single librarian who did this. No, so it's it's um, probably bigger. Oh, absolutely. And Stacey, to be clear, I mean, this is these are books and images. Some of them are like in a cartoon form, by the way. So it's even more attractive to kids. It's man boy love. It's straight up pedophilia. Um, I have no idea. I mean, I was embarrassed hearing you say it, but I'm glad that because I saw the clip and people can go online um, onto Twitter or other social media to, to hear what you had to say and see the images themselves. Um, it's, it's definitely not appropriate. Stacey, the other day I saw another image of a mom who was in a public transportation and there was very explicit advertisements that were just totally inappropriate for kids and she was tearing them down and I think it's really hard for people to understand that there are people out there with an agenda who want to rob your children of their right to childhood innocence um, isn't that what this is about yeah, and that's the the thing is that these images, um, and it's not just images, right? Like there was an adult novel that was just a text, a normal text novel, and it described very sexually explicit acts as well. But it can't be unseen. It's something that yes. is so shocking, and it's not age appropriate. It shouldn't be in the schools, and it shouldn't be accessible to children of any age. Um, this is strictly unambiguous X-rated material, 18 and over only. Um, and one of the things that upset me a lot was when I was interrupted by the board member who shouted at me and she said, it's for high school, ma'am, like as if that's okay, but it's not, but it's not for high school only. And that's what I corrected her on. I said, no, this is in Robinson Secondary School too, because Robinson is just down the street from my house. Right. And that is a combined middle school and high school, right? Yeah. So you've got kid, you know, kids as young as 12 uh, being yeah. able to check out these books at Robinson. No. It's not appropriate um, for high yeah, school it either. Shouldn't be it's just not appropriate. No. It's pedophilia and it's against the law. Um, by the way, here's a statement that we got. It is the against the law. And, yes. and that was the that was the point that I did not get to make. I was very um, angry during the meeting that they stole my time. We're supposed to be given two minutes to speak to address the board. It's not a back and forth. It's not a question and answer. They're supposed to be polite and respectful and listen to what the parents have to say for those two minutes. And by the way, they never interrupted anybody else, but they cut me off with 30 seconds. And the last thing I wanted to say was, hey, by the way, it's against the law. Here's the law in the books for, for the state of Virginia. You can't do this. So yeah. if it's illegal out in town, why is it on campus? It's not okay on campus either. Yeah, so. it's, it's indefensible. It's hard to believe that they would try to cut you off and, and defend this. Um, here's a statement, by the way, from the Fairfax County Public Schools. They said the circulation of these books has been suspended while a committee reviews and makes recommendations about the text. Stacy, you're a hero. Um, that, that book is removed because of you, and I think you're sending a message to parents all across America that it's time for us to take charge. Um, stop co-parenting with the government, and, and these are our kids. So Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Rachel. Of course.